Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the preview video when the cards were first available, but hopefully you can see by now that the cards are are actually very much the same as the previous Light Commander event. The battle skills are all the same. And for this particular event, I only had the support card. So what I wanted to do is show you two card, sort of two deck types that you could build. Instead of showing you individual decks, I thought I would show you what I'm currently using and another team that I built. And we can talk about variations, what cards you can substitute and how they work, etc. So this is my main deck right now. I'm using these two cards, which I've showcased a lot. These are the cards from, these are the hell cards. These are the dark dark god cards. And the reason why this is a really good card is because uh, it will create six power gems. And then there's four or more power gems on the board. It'll create six additional ones. So having two of these cards allows me to get 24 power gems on the board and effectively fills up the board with gems. And I can really get a lot of damage there. Now, the key thing to note here is that the main damage dealer is actually going to come from the support card. With the 10 times uh, affinity bonus and also the increased stats, this card will deal most of the damage, whereas everything else effectively becomes a support card. So in that situation, you can actually safely use another type of card as well. So there is also a um, Dragoon card that we were able to get and also evolve. So if you have this card, you can actually just switch them with these cards even though they're not slayer cards and you can still get the same effect so that way if you don't have soul reaper or hell you can use a dragoon card and that will work just fine now the prerequisite for that kind of for that card is that you have four or more power gems and so the mouse king is a really good card for that it was a warden that you can you can get from the uh, from the light commander event where it'll create four power dark power gems fours dark power gem force right off the bat from this battle skill. And so you can immediately power up this deck and I have two of them so I power them both up but you don't need to use both of them. If you have other cards that you can use in here, other power gem spawners or gem spawners, you can put them in, in this place as well. So I'm gonna be showcasing how this deck works but first I'm gonna go through the various uh, types of uh, decks. The second type, if you don't have any of those cards, uh, if you don't have the uh, Dark God cards, uh, the other option is using Mama Legba or Ushapti and these are also cards that generate a lot of power gems. The, the thing is you have to create gems to overwrite them. And so the, the, the weakness of the previous deck too is that there's no dispel of any sort. It doesn't dispel uh, gem silence and it also doesn't dispel poison. And so this deck here actually works a little better because you can use Nighthawk. Now you can use Nighthawk or you can use, um, I think, Mama Jean to create uh, Dark gems, but I would recommend using Nighthawk because Nighthawk not only does it create um, dark gems, it she also will heal. So having two of these cards will actually counteract poison. I can show you a little bit how that works out. And I threw in Imperium Bella in here just to showcase that you can use a simple card that creates power gem just to make it work. Now this will deal less damage overall, but it also but it's a much easier deck to build and it doesn't require as um, as many of the, the cards I've shown there where you needed to get lucky to get those cards. I, I am using Mama Legba, but you can use Ushapti as I mentioned. It'll have the same effect. Finally, what I wanted to talk about is if you wanted to dispel, you don't have the event cards. These are the two cards that you can use. Albin Albinus Reborn is a good card to use for this event as well. It's also a creature card. It gives you additional, you can see here, it gives you additional health by 25%. So it actually increases your health overall and it will dispel uh, poison. So this is the card to dispel poison. And then Lafer is a really good card that will give you heal every turn. And also it gives you four to six dark gems and it also deep, uh, dispels gem silence. So this is the card to use if you're going up against a uh, Rilka and then you would use Albinus to go up against a guild boss, for example. Finally, these are the various different options you have for you for substituting the deck. These are the cards I have that can create power gems. So these are from the Dark uh, Commander card. This one creates three power gem fours. Uh, this card does require many turns, six turns, and you need to have more commander cards on the board, plus a relic. But this actually is okay because if you look at the previous team that I showcased, Nighthawk is actually both a slayer and a commander. So you can use that to power up the commander gem as well. So that's an option there. Guardian of Gull, uh, 
works better with a team that creates a lot of power gems because this will create more power gems based on the number of gems on the board. So this this is another option there. Crystal Phoenix gives you uh, revive as well as a creature bonus and also creates two power gem fours. And then uh, finally Sobek, another commander card that will create up to two power gem twos, uh, power gem threes depending on number of gems on the board. And so these are the different options. What I what I wanted to do actually in this format, instead of showcasing individual decks I built, is that to, to show that there's a lot of different possibilities. But really, there's different meta. Now the third type of deck that I couldn't show is the Dark Halloween type cards, where it's the Dark Fable cards. So if you have them, then obviously you should use it. So I don't have that deck, so I can show you the, the, what cards they are. So that is if you have. Uh, Makwa or Kuma and the Mecha uh, Makwa, which is the ultra rare card that creates uh, dark gems or Papa Oso. Those are the cards that you could obviously be using as well to get really good damage. But I don't have that, so I couldn't showcase it. So what I'm going to do next is let's let's take a look at a couple of fights and then I'll walk through them and then hopefully this helps you with your deck building. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this helps you. But let's go check this out now. So let's talk about the main team I have and we can see the order of activation and how much damage you can expect to deal with this similar type of setup. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you always activate power gem spawners first. In this case you want to activate the Mouse King because it's a gem spawner and it creates a power gem force that powers up Hell and Soul Reaper. And then once you do that, then go ahead and activate everything. At this point, you don't even need to activate the support card because the board is already filled. And with this particular setup, you're able to deal about 110 to 115 billion damage. And this is often sufficient enough to get uh, MVP for, the, for this type of boss. And you can see here, I also don't have any counter to gem silence here. And so at this point, that's pretty much all the damage I would do. And at this point, it's safe for me to just go ahead and exit out of this Slayer fight. Now we'll take the same setup and then we'll replace one of the Mouse King with Lafer so that we can dispel Gem Silence. With this particular setup with four less power gem fours that you'll be able to create, you're actually going to need to use a support card to fill up the rest of the, the deck here. And so the order of operation here is Mouse King first, then the two health cards, finally the support card. You always want to use power gem spawners first. And then now you can see the board is full again. And with this particular setup, it's still able to deal approximately 90 billion damage, which is really good. And we're uh, using we're going up against an internal boss, so we have 60 seconds to deal as much damage as we can. Now the thing is, Mouse King has a five turn cooldown, whereas the Hell cards only has three. And Lafer is also a gem, uh, gem spawner so you can actually take advantage of, uh, of this by doing some chip damage so that every three turns what you do is you activate the power gem spawners and then a uh, gem spawner here so you saw that I activated the two hell cards a hell plus soul reaper and then also a lafer even though it's not a full gem for power uh, power gems I'm still able to get some chip damage there 15 billion 20 billion some uh, somewhere along the line and now what I can do is I, I will change the cadence from waiting every five turns to going every three turns. So what I can do here is uh, I can wait until the Mouse King uh, battle skill is ready and by this time I just need to wait one more turn for Hell and Soul Reaper to be available and so I'm effectively changing this to two different three turn attacks, one that can deal about 90 billion and then another one that can deal about 10 to 15 to 20 billion or so so you can have one big one small but the point is you're not just sitting there idle and waiting you're not wasting your battle skills and you're taking advantage of the chip damage there so this is going to be a very useful way for you to get that squeezing additional damage to uh, to the bosses hopefully giving you that mvp Another tip here is if you can save both the battle skills for both Lafer and also the support card, you should use that. In this case, I was able to deal about 15 billion damage using this method. And finally, let's talk about the team that uses the two Nighthawks and Mama Legba and how this works against poison. And so you can see here that I'm using three different Dren Relics because I have two Nighthawk. Using three Dren Relics allows me to go up by 25 intensity every turn. The goal here is to activate them at about 100 or so intensity so that you can get enough gems on the board to overwrite most of the power, the rainbow power gems that Mama Lepa is going to create. You need at least 140 to 160, but 125 would be sufficient as well. So what's going on here is I noticed that I am getting passive power gems now from the 
from the board. And so I try to also make non-dark gem matches so that I could spawn as many of them as I can. Notice also that I have not dispel poison and so I am getting hit each time but I'm not worried here because as soon as my health goes down I'm also recovering the health immediately so with the the two turn uh, cooldown from the boss I'm not getting hit every turn I'm, I'm able to actually recover enough health at this point I go ahead and activate mama legba and after activate everything I, I get close to a full board of power gems and it's not quite full but I'm able to get a pretty good damage here with this particular setup it was a total of about 26 billion so future hits will be a little bit less because I didn't I wouldn't have that many power gems but this is how it works I'm able to survive this entire fight and also be able to deal enough damage to uh, contribute to the guild um, cobalt boss here so that's all I have for today's episode and thanks so much for taking the time to listen and to watch the video here. I did try something a little bit different so the video is a little longer and I did talk a lot longer without a lot of the boss fight scenes but my hope is to provide more detailed information about how I'm choosing my deck and also how I'm playing these cards so that you can be more successful. The, the idea is to allow you to build more variety using different ideas I have. So I'd love to hear uh, from you. Let me know your feedback. Let me also know if there are other cards that you're using which I didn't show or didn't think about I would love to hear your thoughts as well so that's all for today thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you next time take care